31 of Africa's 55 leaders made it to the summit at the African Union's headquarters in Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi of Egypt began his tenure as chair. We need to lend more importance to post-conflict reconstruction and development plans and programs in order for us to push for peace and security in our continent and to prepare a conducive environment for the return of our displaced people as early as possible. Displaced people and refugees was the theme for the summit and the year ahead. There are more than 20 million in Africa, but there was no binding agreement or concrete action planned to help them. The organization's Peace and Security Commissioner announced a plan with the UN to try and hold reconciliation talks in Libya ahead of its election due later this year. I think we need also the same understanding from the international community that we speak the same language and all unnecessary interferences should stop immediately. However, no action was planned to address the conflict in Cameroon. Several steps forward have been taken towards the African Union's goal of becoming self-funding. It's always depended on funding from countries outside of this continent. Several European countries fund its programs and its headquarters are paid for and built by China. But ultimately, in the years ahead, the success of its plan to become self-financing will depend on whether or not member states actually pay up. There's been some progress on creating a free trade area. 51 countries signed it, 19 have turned it into law back home. It needs three more to actually take effect. And that, analysts say, with all AU treaties and policies, is often a problem. The extent to which member states actually walk the talk, as it were, uh, of the kinds of rhetoric that they uh, highlight when they are speaking here at the African Union, that is the test, actually, of whether or not what they are saying indeed is something that they follow up when they go back to their respective capitals. Uh, that is where the major limitation and, and problem is. President Paul Kagame of Rwanda was chair for the last year. He tried to push through reforms. Less of that is expected from Sisi. He's expected to focus more on security in the year ahead. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, at the African Union in Addis Ababa.